How you doing? I'm good, thank you. I'm just asking you what your name is. What's your name? I'm London. I'm good, thank you. It's all good. Not even by the... Okay, so that's one lesson we all need to learn. When you're a dude and have your, you know yourself well and everything, and then you're approaching a lady on the street, you go to her politely, greet, introduce yourself, and she doesn't want to get to know you or whatnot. Don't push it. Just say thank you and then keep on pushing, you know? There's nothing else you can do when she doesn't want to talk to you. Andrea. I mean, I was trying to say hi over there. You, you obviously wasn't trying to do that, huh? I know. I was just a little, um, you know, I was texting somebody. I wasn't really paying attention. But oh, yeah? How are you doing today? I'm blessed. Come over here, though. Bunch of bullshit per usual. <clears throat> I don't know if it's just me, but <laughs> she looks really old. She looks like 35, getting close to her 40s. Minding my business, why? Okay, so to, to, you know, get to know you a little bit. I mean, you obviously didn't. I was trying to do that right there. No, yes, I know. I was just texting somebody. I was just arguing with someone. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, but that don't mean that you got to take that out on me. I know. It's not your fault. I know. Okay, you said hi, so what's up? So? So what? What were you trying to talk about? I mean, I was trying to see who you was. I don't know. I just felt like you was, you was gorgeous. So I just felt like I should speak. That's all. I didn't really necessarily want nothing. I was just trying to tell you that you look good, but you ain't give me the chance to do that. Because well, you, you had so a stank much. attitude. I know. I apologize. I'm not having such a great day today. I mean, what's going on? Why, you... Why is she making the interaction so weird? Like, she has something to say. She has something to ask for, but she's not making it. I don't know if you get me. She's not making it known and she's like putting the ball in the guy's hand and it's just an awkward meeting. How are you doing? I was just, you know, personal stuff. Let me hop out real quick. What you mean, personal stuff? I just got some things going on and, you know, just... I have a lot on my mind. Oh, yeah? To be honest with you, yeah. Yeah, but I wasn't being rude to you, you know what I'm saying? You shouldn't take your, your bad day out on me. I ain't did nothing wrong to you. No, I know. That's why I wanted to apologize. I just introduced myself and, you know, maybe we can What's your name again? Andrea. London. Nice to meet you, London. Where you from? So I'm actually from New York, but I've been... I'm from New York, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, Upstate, Rochester. Nice, I'm from Queens. Okay, smooth, smooth. How long have you been in Houston? I'm going on nine years. Oh, so you're a Houstonian at this point. Uh, <laughs> I mean, at this point, I feel like, yeah? I guess, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Are you looking to get to know somebody right now? Sure, why not? Love to get to know you. All right. You want to hop in so we can talk? Uh -huh. Got one, coach. Back in that old approach again. So, what's up? What's up? I like your car, right? Nice car you have here. I appreciate it, appreciate it. So, what do you do? Um, I'm into real estate. Really? Me yeah. too. What part? Residential or commercial? Residential. Okay. What you wholesale? Like, what do you do? I work with, um, everyone that's looking to buy some real estate. Just <laughs> it's not like she's confident. She's not really into real estate. She wants, she wants, how do I put it? She wants to portray herself as someone with high value or high standard or something like that. She wants to portray herself as someone in the position to what's the word in the position to attract high value men yeah always help i'm working with a few people right now you know what i'm saying like do you sell are you a realtor like what do you do yeah i'm a realtor and i like to invest in real estate okay small small what you like to do for fun um try out nice restaurants in the city new restaurants yeah okay. what's your favorite food to eat probably italian 
Yeah. Tell me how love at times, but I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I know a dope spot out here. Yeah, which one? It's called uh, Lombardi. Oh, I went there. Yeah? Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, it was pretty good. See? Yeah. Okay, maybe we can go there sometime. Sure, why not? I mean, once we get to know each other and everything. Yeah. So you got kids? I do. I do. How many? One. You looking to have more? <laughs> I'm not saying like I will give you some kids. I'm just asking like, are you looking at? Do you want more kids in the future? No, no. So you all done? Yes. Okay, okay. You single? Okay, Chad. I have a question for the guys watching this video. Would you like want to marry someone who already has a kid? Having a kid, there's no issue with that. But like, the person has one kid already. Let's assume you also have a kid, and then. The person doesn't want to have any more kids. So the scenario I'm trying to portray here is you marry someone, you settle down with someone. You have a kid, she has a kid. And she doesn't want to have a new one with you. Like, would you like to settle for that? Because me, I personally, now nah, I also want to have one with you. I can't just be taking care of someone else's kid, you know. I need to take care of my kid so that we leave our things to the person. I don't know. Let me know your view in the comment section. I am. How long have you been single? A couple of months now. Mm. Okay, okay. Ask me something. I feel like I'm talking too much. Okay. <laughs> what about you? Are you single? Uh, Yes, I am single. I've been single since 2020. Okay. Mm. And so what do you like to do for fun? You have a lot a lot of free time. I like to travel. Um, I like to try new foods. I just like to have fun. I'm very adventurous and spontaneous. Yes, I, I love to travel. Yeah? yeah. Where have you been so far? I was just recently in Puerto Rico. Okay, how was that? I love it out there. It was good? Yes. That's what's up. I've never been out there. I've been to DR, though. Okay, that was my next my next vacation destination. Have you been in the world besides Puerto Rico? Um, in the States, not really. You speak Spanish? I do. Let me hear something. Te quieres que te diga. Wow. That mean? What do you want me to tell you? Uh, tell me your first impression of me. My first impression of Tell me in Spanish, then tell me in English. Pues, me parece que estás muy, muy guapo. What that mean? I think look really good. Okay, <laughs> let's just be funky. Like, I don't know. There are just two languages in this world that they sound so sexy when, 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 when the female is saying, is speaking to you in that language. It just sounds so sexy. Like, me, my number one is Spanish, and then maybe French. But French, it depends on the tone on, and some other things. But for Spanish, mm, 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 it's just so sexy. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Like your, I like your style. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. It's the New York. It is. In New York, you know how, you know how we do. <laughs> but I'm looking to learn Spanish, though, so maybe you can teach me. Yes, of course. Okay, well, oh my god, oh my god, I gotta take you up on that if you're serious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, what's your, what's some of like your hobbies? Like, what's your day to day look like? Working with clients, open houses, showings. Okay, so just grinding for real. Yes. All right, all right. Okay, I guess I was wrong. You see, earlier when I said she's just trying to portray herself as someone with high self worth, but it seems like she's really a realtor or she's really into real estate because whatever she's seeing is taken out to be true. I'm also, I also know one or two things in real estate, so I think she's right. Alright, so why you feel like you're single then? Right now? Like you, you know, seem like you got a good head on your shoulders and stuff like that. Why you feel like you're single? Um, to be honest, I just got out of a really long relationship. And so yeah. right now, I'm just really focused on myself and the things that I want for myself. So like, what you, where you feel like your last relationship went wrong? Well, the thing it was, um, at first everything was great and, you know, he would take really good care of me and, you know, he would buy me anything I wanted and just take me shopping and we would travel a lot and that... You see, she's building up on the bush, it's like, you know, she's building up on it, so let's just, let's just guess where this is going. So he's going to us, he used to do all this, do all that, and then out of the blue maybe things happen in life so let's say out of the blue his income stream just went on a dip it went very low and then he couldn't do all this take care shopping and all this trip and things and then because of that issues are erupting in the relationship and ended this way i'm sure that's where it's leading to you let's hear and 
Um, not really sure what happened, but he just couldn't afford all the fancy, nice things that. Is he? <laughs> you, they are just so predictable. Is he? So you are with someone who just does everything for you. She makes you like your passenger princess and all the baby girl treatment she give, he gives to you. And stuff happens in life. So when he can't do that anymore, it means you got it deep. Wow. He was able to afford before, so I had to just call it quits right there. But why though? Like what? Why would you leave him just because he couldn't? I mean, the thing is, we I had already gotten used to a certain lifestyle he was giving me. Like I was always traveling. He was always paying for me to just travel. No. So is she trying to say? Is the dude's fault for giving her a certain style or a certain lifestyle that she got so used to that when dude couldn't do that again, she just needed to dip. Wow. Whatever I wanted, and it's just, it wasn't gonna work out anymore. Yeah, but why were you just solely dependent on him? You just told me that you went to real estate and that you're doing all that stuff. So why is you even just worried, uh, dependent on a man? You should already have your own bag. Sure. If, a, if a man is putting you in a position where he's basically paying, you saying he was paying for everything? Yes. Like paying your bills too? Pretty much. So why are you not Pretty stacking much. up yeah. your money just in case he go through a rough time? Of course. Well, that's, you know, why I'm single. I'm looking for someone that, you know, we can possibly... Possibly what? That can help me out again and I can that way I can save my money and just invest it. So, babe... Hell nah. So you you with you with um hypothetical dude and then you are all working and you be saving money. So the notion of um we are in a relationship, we are building up something but my money is my money and your money is our money. Hell nah. So you want somebody to take care of you while you just save your money. Sure, you why not? Nothing. I mean, but what does that make you then? That that sounds like a some bum sh No, because I'm gonna invest it for you no but obviously you didn't invest it all you did was spend it well the thing is you know that was a while ago now I things mean, are very different it doesn't I matter learned... that says a lot about your character though yeah because i'm learning still you know i'm still what you mean you're learning i'm learning there's a lot of things that you know i was i didn't know a couple of years ago that i'm still learning now so what do you expect out of a man what, what would you expect out of me if, if we was to you know start dating well for you to take care of me you know like take care of you. a man should and what, what, what's, what's your definition of taking care of you? You know, someone mm -hmm. I can pay my bills. I'm not paying your bills. Why the f do I do that? Okay, so then... No, I'm just asking, like, why the f do I do like that? But, like, your audacity with this woman, I don't know if... I don't know if it's we... We men. That's I've given these girls the audacity to that much, to that level of extent that you just meet, you just meet someone barely 15 minutes and these are your expectations from him paying bills taking you shopping and all this it just doesn't make sense like why i'm not your daddy because that's what a man does no no a man is supposed to treat you right a man is supposed to make sure you safe Facts. make sure he got you make sure he loyal to you sure. that's not my job to make sure your bills pay you a grown woman how old is you 33 33 so why should why the f should i take care of a 33 year old woman like, 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 she my kid. You, you, I don't owe you that. Why not? You're, that's what all my ex, like. I'm not your exes. I'm not them, I'm him. Okay. Respectfully. So I'm not, I'm not here, to, like I said, I'm not here to take care of no grown up. Okay, so, I mean, I thought that's why you were trying to holler at me right now. No, I was trying to holler at you because I feel like you look good. Well, what do you bring to the table? Let's hear that. I mean, Look at me, like. I mean, I'm looking. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, like? Besides your looks, what else do you bring to the table? What do you mean? What do I bring to the table? I am the table. I mean, look at me. Hello. Why is she getting so offended when she was when she's being asked what she brings to the table? So, you've seen me as a dude. You already said that as a man, it's our responsibilities to pay bills, take you out, and all those things. But we too, we know that as a man, what you're supposed to do is to make a woman feel safe protected and all that so now that i'm turning the questions back to you what you bring to the table you, have, you feel so offended and you could you could hear the raising like your tone just increase a bit she feels so offended 
Look at you, huh? What? 34 old year woman. What do you bring? I understand that, but you don't, you're not saying nothing besides your looks. Like, anyone, I could, I, there's plenty of women I heard that look like this. So what makes you different? Like, why, why the f would I, why, why, why do you have the audacity to feel like a grown man should pay your bills? I mean, why don't you just get to know me first? Why the f would I want to get to know you and you already telling me that you want me to pay your bills? What's next? You want me to take you shopping? I'm definitely not doing that. Why not? That's like me saying, why come on, right, come drop that you have uh like you have all this money so, obviously you know you have a lamborghini so, so why not all right we'll come drop then how about I mean, that is you nasty why don't we just you know go grab dinner no first? but is you nasty though i mean we can discuss that no no we discuss no, no, it right no, no, now no, no. just like you want to discuss shopping and bills right now so I'm, we're gonna discuss this we can talk about this over like dinner why don't we go to like nobu or right, something you pay, you pay then no. What you mean, no? Well, why not? Why wouldn't you pay? You have money. It like... doesn't matter. You got money too. You just told me you went to real estate, right? Mm -hmm. Right or wrong? That's what you said. Yeah, but you know, I'm. I need to invest my money. I don't. Well, you don't think I need to invest my money? You don't think I need to save my money for for the future as well? So you just think I'm, I'm supposed to blow my money on you? I don't f know you. I don't have to blow. <laughs> I'm not doing. Yeah, I'm... So they always just assume. They they just assume that as a man. You always need to have money coming in. That's true to some extent, but things happen in life. So you as a woman, you are telling me you need to save up your money. So me, I don't fucking need to save up my money. <laughs> Let it make sense. Honestly, you, you honestly give me f gold digger vibes because you wouldn't even want to put me over there until you see what type of car I was in. That's, right. That's a fact. I mean, like I said, I was I'm not having the best day. No, I, I mean, I don't to do with me though maybe we can just you nah, know, nah, nah, nah. yeah that's what we was doing just... until you start talking about shopping and me taking care of you i mean i thought that's what you wanted i mean why would you think that's what i'm i want to do just because i got i got money you think that's what i'm is that that's not what dudes with money supposed to do i'm sure there's plenty of dudes that do that but just not me so you can just get up okay that's crazy man that these women really feel like just because I got some paper that I'm supposed to pay your bills. I'm not paying shit.